Hello and welcome to Body Balance Institute. We are here um, providing some nice movement for you so that you are not just sitting inside watching the news 24 hours a day. So we are hoping that you are staying well and moving and we are here to provide a little matless props workout for you. Know that um, many of these props you could you don't necessarily have to have. So we're going to use a pole, but that could be a broomstick, right? Or whatever you have. We're going to use a ball. So something like a rolled up towel could actually work for that. Just something to support your body or to hold and squeeze. So um, get creative. Um, I have Cheryl here as my lovely model. And we are just going to start by giving her the pole. We're also going to use the theater band, but we'll get to that later. And she's just going to start by reaching that pole over her head and stretching her shoulders up to her ears, you are too, and then letting them glide into her back pocket. Notice that she's adding a nice breath to that. Every time she inhales, she's reaching, filling her chest with air. And every time she exhales, she's gliding her shoulders down into her back pocket. So one more time, Cheryl. I'm going to go with three counts. You might do more, but we're going to give you lots of exercises in a short amount of time. So we're going to stick with three. So Cheryl, can you start to roll up now? The arms are going to go first, and then the head, mm -hmm. and then you're going to just come right up to the top. She She's going all the way. You might come halfway. That's fine. And roll back down again. Good. Letting the body just start to articulate through this. So we're going to go halfway. again. What's that? I'll go halfway. You want to just go halfway next time? Sure. What do you think? And so halfway, modified position, level one. And she's also going to do this with straight legs. So if I say level one, it means this is easiest. Level two, somewhere in between. She's going to roll all the way up. Yeah, man. That's the third level for the more advanced. She's going to reach that right for her toes. Maybe she's going to wrap her toes around it and pull back to get a nice stretch through the hamstrings. And then she's going to start to come back, reaching through her toes, letting that stay close to her body, mm -hmm. keeping that nice framework of the body. Let's go one more time. And so she's going to flex her feet and pull her toes back towards her. Notice she's nodding her head first, getting that first and second vertebrae to come first so that we're not using the neck to lift, right? We always want to use the strongest part of our body for flexion, which is the abdominals. And then she's going to bring it back from here. She's going to come halfway up. She's going to stay there, and she's just going to start to row one side, dipping the paddle into the water, and then the other. Good. Huh? Maybe three times with that. Well, then she's going to come just a little bit higher, but she's still sinking into that flexion. She's really sinking into it. Very nice. Let's go a little bit higher. Sure, this is our third round. She's um, on the dragon boat, sort of like a, a little weird one. <laughs> Stacy wouldn't like that. And come back up to the center and roll all the way up. All the way up. Yeah, there we go. And one more lovely stretch. She doesn't need a hamstring stretch right now. All of us. And then roll back down again. Notice that she's also starting with the pelvis. She's rocking that first. Rolling that next. And rolling all the way down. Well, Cheryl, why don't we bend our knees so we can get some bridging here. So she is going to start with her bar right by her knees close to the knees, right? And so, or your broomstick or whatever you have. And she's going to lift the hips as one piece. She's going to stay there. She's going to bring the bar overhead now. Inhale. She's going to exhale as she brings that bar back. Keeping those hips really high. Good. Inhale. Three is the magic number. If we do three really well, we don't need to do any more. We get to do more exercises. She's going to keep the bar right where it is. And she's going to dip one hip down. There's always that self bend. And lift it back up again. And dip the other hip down. And lift it back up again. And dip. And lift. And 
and dip and lift and dip and lift and dip and lift. How about some figure eights? <laughs> Rolling one hip down, come up through the middle and then dropping the other hip down through the middle, around back to the femur stone. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Good job. Doing a little hip dance, right? All great back body work. One more time, Cheryl. Smile. <laughs> you smile too. And bring it back up. Hips are high. Bar goes overhead. She's going to articulate from the throat all the way down to the tailbone. Oh. Nice and easy with a nice ah sound. Oh. <laughs> oh, good job. And let's go ahead and just roll on our side to come up. And now we're going to bring in the school ball. Okay. And we're going to put this between the knees and we're going to kneel. So Cheryl's great invention that she came up with that's mimicking an exercise on the reformer, which is thigh stretch, right? And so, um, bringing that bar out in front of her. She's going to keep this line steel from the back of the knees to the back of the head. As she takes an inhale, she's going to grow tall. And as she exhales, she's going to hinge back. Right. She's going to inhale to grow tall again and come back up again. Exhale. Mm -hmm. And this time she's going to inhale to come back, keeping that nice extension of her spine, not letting this dip. Right. And then she's gonna lift the arms, tuck in your chin, and she's gonna lower the arms. And she's gonna lift, yep, back up again. And so this time, last hurrah, we're gonna do it three times. We have a little foot, bring it back here, but that's okay, you might too. Pulling the abdominals in and up. Mm -hmm, that's right. Keeping this nice frame of the body, that's what I want, is for these guys to really be kicking, and then she's gonna come back up again. And she's just gonna drop the hands back down again to the mat even, and um, yes, just come back and take the ball out. So for this next one, we're gonna take the ball, or actually, yeah, let's go ahead and, that's a good idea, Cheryl. We're gonna go into our TheraBand work. We're, we're a team here, so. <laughs> coming up with these exercises together and we're uh there you go okay cool so notice that she, how she's she's got the, the theraband is on her hand so it's strapped from the thumb pincher finger here to the little finger and it's important because when she goes into some other exercises she's going to wrap it and it's nice to be able to just make it, if you make it um, shorter by wrapping it, it's heavier, so to speak. If you want it lighter, then you go back the other way. So, right, so now you can change your tension. We're gonna start with really tall spine from back of knees again to head. You could also be standing on your TheraBand and doing this. It's a really good way to, uh, you know, do some standing exercises and maybe even challenge your balance. So she's gonna reach her hands forward. Yep, serving. She's gonna open um, the arms back up again. She's gonna close, and then she's gonna bring it back in. It's not really important how far you go here. It's more important how much you're reaching out and that your shoulders are really pulling down and wrapping around to these armpit muscles. Give me one more like that, okay? I'm looking for good action in the back and the front of the body. She's going to go hug a tree next. Uh -huh. Notice that I could pour a glass of water down her shoulder to her fingers. So she's going to open and then she's going to hug that huge tree. That's right. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. This time keep this the shoulder blades in the back perfectly still because she might not come as far out. So open the arms without moving the shoulder blades. That's right. Really pull forward and the shoulder blades are going to stay apart. So pull forward and it's like I have um, something behind her, between her shoulder blades so that she can't pull them together. That's what I want you to feel like. That you're just working stabilization right now, not mobilization, okay? So from here, she's going to straighten her arms, okay? 
then she's going to lift the arms. Mm -hmm. She's going to lighten it up a little bit for you, that, for these deltoids, and lower three times, Cheryl. I'm looking for the arms to lift, but not the shoulders, because we don't want this to all be in the traps, right? We want this to really be the delts. Bring them out to the side now, Cheryl. And we're going to lift, and we're going to lower. Delt, down to the side. Good. I'm looking again for good, good shoulder mobility here. If you don't have good shoulder mobility, lighten it up a little bit, okay? Um, if you feel clickiness or tightness in your shoulders, make this light. You don't even have to use this beta band for any of these. You can do these without anything at all. So, how about some triceps, Cheryl? Let's do three different versions of triceps here. So now she has her palms facing back. I'm gonna have her hinge slightly forward from her knees, um, maybe from her hips even, and the chest goes forward, okay? So drop your chest more forward, and then bend the elbows and kick back. So I'm actually gonna encourage you to really draw your elbows in like cricket wings. You can look down to the floor so you have this nice long line. And so the other position that we're gonna take, I'll let, have you go ahead and take the other position, um, is that she's going to go ahead and go into the motion. She's gonna bring her arms together, her thumbs are facing each other, so we're getting a different part of the tricep, right? And there's three of them. Mm -hmm. Then she's gonna go thumbs facing each other, right? Pinky fingers out, good, and this is nice work for the back body too. You want to have a nice, a nice straight spine. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to go out to the side and she's got her thumbs turned out and she's bringing her pinky fingers in towards her. Mm -hmm. And she's really hinged over from her hips, right? Letting her chest kind of drop forward. Um, so we get all of those lovely heads of the tricep. Who doesn't want that? Well, we can also do um, some biceps here, right? And we're gonna inhale and exhale. Uh -huh. She's gonna go a little, yep, a little more to get that out of her way. Keeping those elbows in close to the body. Right, let's do that version of bicep curls as well. Let's let the hands come all the way down to get the full range and all the way back up two more times. Good, nice. Excellent. And then we're going to take our beer band and we're going to put it around one foot. So we're going to do our leg circles with the beer band. So we're going to come down onto the mat. She's going to lay on her back. Mm -hmm. she's, so she, what she's doing here is she's going to wrap it. Let's wrap it. Um, let's wrap it this way so that you are not going to snap the, the uh, beer band into your face because I've done that before. I was really mad at myself. <laughs> so I'm putting it across the front of her foot like that, the front of her foot, and then I'm wrapping it around the ball of her foot, and then I'm handing her both sides so that she can move it, but it's not going to go anywhere. Very important, right? Uh -huh. So from here, her body is completely in this glued to the mat position and she's going to reach out through that foot. She's going to start to circle it across the body first. Let's go across the body, down and around. Good. And across the body. She's got her shoulders pinned, her triceps pinned. We're trying not to rock. So if we see any rocking in this hip, go ahead and bend this knee for me so you show the modified. We're going to modify by, by bending this knee. Your leg might be perfectly straight, it might be slightly bent, it depends, right? It depends on your body. And um, we're gonna do three in each direction, which I think we've already uh -huh. done. Then we're going to just get a nice stretch. So we're gonna straighten this leg out, reach this leg up, good. Take both of the straps into one hand. Cheryl, doesn't matter which one right now, because we're gonna do both sides. We're gonna flex this foot, good. We're gonna point the toes. Uh-huh, good, and so she's going to bring that leg out to the side now, yeah, and let this one turn out a little bit, 
Maybe we bend this knee a little bit. Good, so we get that lovely stretch. Uh -huh. Maybe she's even gonna um, bring this arm long that the TheraBand is holding, right? So you're so you're kind of yeah, you're still holding onto the TheraBand with the other hand, Cheryl, but you're just gonna hold it further down, uh -huh. and you're gonna reach that arm out a little bit. So reach the right arm out to the side. Okay. Really reach the right arm over, yeah. Okay. Now, go ahead and grab it with the right arm even. Okay. Yeah, so, so see how okay. much length so you can you get. Want it up here. Yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so you just have a little more range, right? Okay. Like that. <laughs> and bring it back up again. Uh-huh. Now switch hands with the TheraBand. And so, this is a good stretch, right? <laughs> so we're gonna bring this across the body. We're gonna turn this knee in, right? And bring this across the body, beautiful. And she's going to look in the other direction. Yay, smile. <laughs> We've been doing lots of videos today, so. <laughs> we're, we're a little sore now, I think, which is a good thing. We're, yeah. we're taking good care of ourselves. We're moving. We're definitely getting in better shape ever been doing all these videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so now straighten this up. Just straighten it. Go really light on the TheraBand and straighten it out. Uh-huh. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Holding on to it. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So we just get a little more. There we go. And come back. Well, we've got the other leg. Let's quickly go through the other leg as well. We take this off. Uh-huh. Just for fun's sake. I'm going to go this way. You know, don't forget that stretching is not just something, it does feel good and it's relaxing too, but it's also work. The other half of the muscles work, right? So we sometimes we forget that. Reaching through the sitting bone of the leg that you're stretching. So I'm just going to straighten it out a little bit, bring that foot over to the leg. Yeah. And she's going to start with flexing and pointing the leg. And the heel and the ankle, okay? So that's it. Mm -hmm. And then she's gonna come out to the side. Yes, that arm is reaching, good. That knee is bending. I like that she's actually putting that foot down to get that hip to anchor on the other side. So really, we want it to be here, right? And then we're gonna flex and point a couple times, right? And then we're just going to bring it back to the center, bring this arm back up to the center, switch hands. Mm -hmm. There we go, keep it long. Right, and then look in the opposite direction. And we get that nice, both anchoring here through, so we get this whole lateral side, IT band, all that good stuff. This is a tight place for a lot of us, that medial um, glute med and, and all that good stuff. But we're also going to let this go with us now and get a little more rotation. So keep looking over here, Cheryl. That's right. You're about to tip your foot down a little bit, but that's okay. okay. I'm, I'm bring okay. it forward. <laughs> okay. And then you. bring it back. I know. We're still being kind to the camera for a minute. And then, good. You come back to the center. Okay. Oh, you did. It was, it was just a so anyway, yes, um, let's come out of the strap now. And from here, small ball. So we're gonna ground that little small ball. Nope, use our, our pole again too for these. I'm gonna put this behind your back, okay? Remember that you could also, I could have this towel if I didn't have a small ball. Um, that could serve as a rest, but it could also serve as something that we put, yeah, in between the legs so that it's a hug, you know, instead of the small ball, because maybe sometimes we do do that. Um, or two towels. Two towels. Mm -hmm. Most of us have mm -hmm. them, right? So we've got, and so let's go there. Let's do mm -hmm. that. So you could do two towels, you could do your ball, but we are going to start to Roll back into the ball, good, and then we're gonna reach the arms up to the ceiling 
and back down again. Good, and reach up, and back down, and back up, and back down, and then come all the way back up again. So rolling back up to that starting position, Cheryl. Okay, so arms are gonna come down, roll your spine back up again, good. One more time, mm -hmm. squeezing the calf. Let's go um, into a lats. This rotation is gonna be keeping the bar straight, right? So we're just working on that plane of rotation. Uh -huh. We're doing some nice work through the obliques, yes. Notice she's not going too far on this bar and staying perfectly still. Roll all the way back up again. Good. Let's also do a little bit of extension. So we're gonna lay on your stomach from here. We're just gonna roll over and be on the belly. We're going to take the pole and we're gonna bring it in front of us. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna roll it towards us on the floor to come up. So the legs are reaching, they can be together or wide. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna roll it back. So she can she can slide it, but we could also roll it. We can, yep, that's right. We have to have a little further up the hands and then back down again. Good. Let's draw the shoulder blades down and together, looking just over the bar, good, and come back down again. Rolling back up again. Nice, and back down again. And coming back into a child's pose. Good, and just relaxing, really breathing into the back. And exhale, pull your navel to the spine. Good, breathing into the back. And exhale, pull the navel to the spine. I'm going to have her come into a seated position facing you and we're going to take, and we're just going to face the, the camera, Cheryl, we're going to take the bar in our hands, um, we're going to reach it overhead, yep, the legs can be slightly bent here, mm -hmm. reach the bar overhead, you're going to side bend, let's go into um, crisscross position with the ankles, like where we're just um, knees apart, so... Yeah, so you're, yeah, crisscross back and forth. <laughs> um, and it could be out here or it could be mm -hmm. in here, but we're just gonna go side, side over. Yeah, so show them the position also where the feet are literally like, like in a crisscross position like this. Yeah, okay. So we can come over and back to center again. And over, she's staying in that nice frame. One more time. We're gonna straighten the legs now, but to the corners of the mat, okay? So we're on the corners of the mat, and then she's going to bring the bar right in front of her chest. And she's gonna rotate. And then she's gonna reach that pinky finger towards the pinky toe as she drops her head down into a nice soft, and then she's gonna come back up again, inhale, Pulling the bar down a little bit, and then, yeah, and then sliding the pinky finger towards the pinky toe, that's it. And then she's gonna come back to center again, and turn, and slice. Good, and back, one more time, Cheryl. And slice, good, and back. Let's go to mermaid side stretch now. We're gonna still use the bar. So we're gonna um, sit sideways, yeah. And we're gonna take the, the bar in the hand and we're gonna reach it, so we're gonna hold it in this hand. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna bring the left hand down and we're gonna reach up and over and extend it all the way. Good, so it just gives us a little bit of extension, right? And we're gonna come back just on that one side. Now switch hands. 
you can switch hands with the bar. Good. Now she's reaching the bar towards the floor here, getting a nice arc with the bar. Maybe she can even go a little further with that bar touching down towards the floor. That's it. And then she's going to reach up again and switch sides. She's keeping all this together. This is just giving her a frame to know where she is in space, right? And so one more time, Cheryl. there right and then we're gonna go to the other side I'm just gonna flip her knees to the other side that's the same thing right so we're gonna start with just a reach up and over we really pulling all this together and then we're tapping the ball and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna switch arms yes beautiful and it's just keeping her in the frame again mm -hmm. good and time there it is yes and switch hands left knee has the bar now and pull these hands <laughs> together good job and then she's gonna come back up again nice and she's gonna keep all this lace up awesome very nice good job everybody give yourself a hand yay for giving yourself some really good exercise today Keep getting outside in the sunshine whenever you can. Um, get some fresh air and uh, take really good care of yourself right now. Lots of rest, um, lots of positive thoughts, um, prayer meditation, whatever you need to keep your head where it needs to be right now. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. We'll see you soon.